Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about mirroring components. Let's begin by editing the local pattern. Right click, Edit Feature. I'll delete Direction 2 and then click OK. So for this first example, I'm going to insert a new plane that I'll use as my mirror plane. Let's select this face and this face. And here is our plane. Let's click Accept. With the plane pre-selected, I'll activate the Mirror Components tool. Next, I'll select the components to mirror, these three washers. Click Next. And let's accept our work at this point. Here we have our mirrored components, the three washers. Let's take a look at a new example now. I'll go to Assembly 1B. Activate the Mirror Components tool again. Mirror Plane, I'll use the front plane. Components to Mirror, I'll select the whole part and then click Next. Down below, we've got a number of choices for reorienting the components. We can click the chevron arrows to cycle through them. We can also click here to create an opposite hand version. Let's click Accept for now. And let's take a look at one more example. I'll go to Assembly C now. Here I've got an irregularly shaped plate. These gray lines you see are the bounding box. The gray dotted line marks the center bounding box. And this yellow symbol is the center of mass for this part. The center of mass I'd inserted at the part level. To insert a center of mass, you go to Insert, Reference Geometry, and choose Center of Mass. If you still don't see the symbol in your graphic area, you can just toggle it to Show in this drop-down menu in the Hang-Up toolbar. Here it is.